My name is Charlie Welch. I'm the conservation coordinator at the, the Duke Lemur Center, and I'm sure you're quite surprised to see me standing before you talking in this uh, workshop or symposium. Um, first, I'd like to thank Sabrindu for giving me the chance to bring a, a conservation perspective to, um, to this workshop today. Um, but at the, at the Lemur Center, we have um, variety of objectives and um, although our main mission is research we also have objectives of conservation and, and education and, and all of these objectives are, are very important to us. Um, what I'm going to talk to talk about today of course is, is conservation and uh, also of course our main objective in conservation is protecting lemurs that is what we're, what we're all about. Um, we have, as you noticed on the, the lead slide, our, our project, we have a project in Madagascar, Sava Conservation Initiative, and Sava Region, Sava is just an acronym for a region in northeastern Madagascar where we have this, uh, um, this established conservation project. And the project is uh, community-based and multifaceted. Uh, and when I say multifaceted, uh, we have activities or components such as environmental education, uh, reforestation, fish farming as an alternative to bushmeat research. Um, conservation NGOs are finding out more and more that to really impact conservation in a region and to impact it in a way that's sustainable, that um, that you need this community-based conservation approach. So um, in Madagascar, there's only about 10% of the land is left in, in natural state, in forest, or uh, depending on what kind of, if whether it was a savanna or a prairie in the first place. So a lot of the forest has, has already been, been lost. And most of that is to subsistence agriculture, slash and, slash and burn agriculture. Madagascar is one of the five poorest countries in the world, uh, so very often you find people that are just trying to, to make ends meet, just trying to, to feed their families. Um, so one of the activities or components that I didn't mention is that we've become involved in energy efficient stoves in the Sava region of northeast Madagascar. And um, uh, we've been working or collaborating with an organization called Charbon Vert, which is green charcoal. And um, they're working on a, a couple of projects, one being an energy efficient stove and the other being uh, the energy efficient stove, which they're working on here, the Richaud Rocket or Rocket Stove. And um, they're also working on uh, making what they call green charcoal, just using herbaceous materials, grasses, leaves, cardboard, um, wood shaving, sawdust, wetting it, compacting it into, the, into these cylinders, and uh, compressing it into discs. And, and drying it out and then using it in stoves. And of course, the objective of all of this is to reduce the impact on the forest of people collecting wood for cooking. Um, Madagascar is a, a, a country of 22, 21, 22 million people, and 95% of the population is cooking on charcoal, wood charcoal, or wood itself. So that's a, that's a lot of people cooking on uh, using those, those, um, those products. So if you can reduce that, that the emissions from, from that, and if you can reduce the amount of, of wood or charcoal that they're using, you're having a substantial impact on the, uh, on the forest and on the, on the air quality. So it's something we've just started to, to get into. The, um, I think that the area that we're working in, in a rainforest area, is a little more difficult because there's more plant material, more wood available. Uh, I think more and more conservation organizations are uh, working on, on encouraging use of these energy efficient stoves. 
and I think the bigger success is going to be in drier areas where the, the wood is, is, is more scarce. But um, I think Madagascar is a bit of an um, end of the, or the top of the spectrum example or in microcosm of, of this kind of problem in the world with 85% of, of Madagascar's flora and fauna being endemic to the island. Biodiversity is disappearing at uh, a, a very rapid rate, but, but in general, we hope to be able to, uh, to expand our use of these stoves in, in conservation in Madagascar. Thank you.